What is this nonsense? What are we doing here? Am I really gonna step into this? Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to The Sinking City, episode five, where we're about to go see if we can find Captain Sanders in the hospital. He should be pretty easy to locate, since how we learned in the last episode that he was hit with an axe while his men went berserk. So he's badly wounded and would have to receive medical care. Now, I've been looking at the map and assessing the various clues at our disposal, and I've made a realization that I suppose should have been obvious, but for whatever reason it was not to me. As I've looked and I've pulled up, so we know of two infested areas so far, and I've pulled up the overlay with the casebook that has the letters from Oakmont, each one of these letters that we reviewed in episode two. And as you can see, they seem to... They seem to line up with these infested areas. Now, I'm going to leave the markers for now because I'm not sure if there's more than meets the eye to these or not, but it could be that these are our hints for where all the infested areas are in the game. Which gives us a good heads up so we can plan our routes accordingly. That being the case, we did get a line on another tome, actually relatively close to where we're at, over here on Whisper Street. So I think we're going to go ahead and catch a boat and head on over there. But I don't necessarily want to go down this road. Although we are sort of going down the same road. I would like to stay near the port. I don't know why. I feel like this thoroughfare is a better one. We might hop into an inhabited building simply for supplies if we get the chance. We could go down to the lighthouse. Perhaps it's worth a little detour. I think it might be. Uh, let's take a look at our skills and see if we have the experience maybe to... Nope, not quite. Not quite, but I think we're going to continue. We're going to continue with the bonus experience so that we can level up as much as possible before we start taking other more useful skills. I always feel like taking bonus experience early on is such a great investment. And if I skip it for whatever reason, because I hastily want other skills, then by the end of the game, I feel like they're the last ones and they're just a huge, colossal waste. Whoa. Cheaper than the rest. Hold on, this is Uncertainty Street? What's your problem? Oh, out of my way. Are we not able to head down Ferry Road? It is blocked, isn't it? They're not ready to let us through here yet. Okay. Then I guess we will come down on Certainty Street. And we'll take a boat over here to Whisper Street. What are you selling? Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and cut through this section here. Oakmont Oil and Coal Company. Is that like a old wooden ship washed up in there? Oh my gosh. I'm just a little shocked and amazed. Okay. So we're going to continue down this way. Yep, and then down Deep Shore Road and then cut over to Whisper Street. All right. We 
there's no easy way to get to that character over there, is there? If this is Deep Shore, then this is Whisper Street here. Let's refresh ourselves with the clue for just a moment. The Tome of the Mare. Fishermen talk of a place near the Blackwood Manor on the southern part of Whis Whisper Street where meetings occur in the dead of night. The locals don't like this part of eastern Grimhaven Bay. They seem to fear those who gather near the half-built ships. Hmm. Stands on a cursed boat that sinks in the fog. Near the Blackwood Manor. How are you doing, sir? Selling some random supplies? Let me just take your inventory back here. Hope you don't mind. Near the half built ships. Hold on. This is. This is it. Alright, if we can't hold any more alcohol, then it likely means we need to make some first aid kits. Um, we're starting to get up there on gunpowder a little bit. Let's make some more of that. Or some more casings. There's, there's a ladder on this one. I think this is... Hold on. A new infested area. Let's switch to our case book and see if... No, so there is no letter for here, but there is an infested area. So my theory with the letters could be wrong. All right, in the meantime, let's... Oh, my. What is this nonsense? What are we doing here? Am I really going to step into this? Oh, really? Oh, we're going up into the ship, apparently. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The Book of Dagon. This book is old and damp. It is a translation and a rough draft at that. Littered with footnotes and corrections, the rituals of Dagon's servants, including summoning and sacrifice, are intermixed with other advice. One dictates the proper breeding with humans so as to grow the deep one's numbers. Mm. Bring the slaves on the shore in the hour of high moon. Cut the skin in the lines of unholy names of Neshirnam and Nisarig Amalkhasit, and mix their blood with sand in a pit. Place the dolphin's eye within, and say thrice, Ya us dumem grash aug rao kiv kiv. Let the slaves fall and crawl in the waters, and direct your prayers to the watching eye of our master. Oh. Oh. Get out of here. Just, just get out of here. Oh, we've blurred the lines in this reality. They're surely going to come after us. What, pray tell, is this over here, though? Perhaps we can seek refuge over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're just sleeping. Ugh! What is going on over here? I'm gonna swim. No, get out. Get me out. Come on, get me out. I'm sorry I did this. 
in his house in the depths the dead hold on the dead sailor waits dreaming okay well we've definitely strayed off of our path here a little bit but I think it's safe to say we don't need that marker there anymore uh, now what we will do what we will do so we've got the book of Dagon now uh, we will take that extra experience there we go so now we have lots and lots of experience uh, wait a minute what is remain sane for much longer double quest reward items mm, that's kind of handy save materials when crafting explosives save materials when crafting 50% chance to save materials when crafting ammunition Ah, it's a lot of a lot of different options, but I want the extra experience. I don't plan on doing a lot of fighting early on. Oakmont Manor. I think it's pretty safe to say we shouldn't be here. I can absolutely feel like we should not be here. Or not Oakmont Blackwood Manor. Okay, well, there's no getting in through the front door. We've established that. <laughs> A crack detective, I say. Oh, my. Look at that ship out there. Docked up against the lighthouse. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Looks like we'll be taking the back door. This could be a really great source of supplies to stock up on things like ammunition and whatnot. I don't think I want to go through that door with the eye on it. Oh, this could be way ahead of where we need to be. Really using a seashell for the <laughs> for the horn part of the Victrola. Oh, what rituals are conducted here? Oh my! Let's just—I'm not going to step in the center of that. Let's just get some supplies or. Or something and get out of here. Oh, man. Oh, man. What? Yep. Some definite sketchy activities happening here. I don't think we're supposed to be here. I can't really interact with any of this. One, uh, one grave is totally fresher than the rest. Okay, well, the lack of interactables tells me we're kind of just wasting our time. And I'm totally not motivated by fear to get out of here. Well, I mean, come on. No, nothing. Nothing, okay. Of course, it's barricaded with barbed wire and... Oh, that statue freaked me out. Look, I can't search anything. There's... I figured they'd reward me with a little bit of salvage coming in here. But no, not even. Mm. Nope. 
it's definitely a neat building, and I feel fairly confident we'll need to come oh, back here at some point. What have we done? Okay. I think we should just depart. Before the doors lock us in the inside and all manner of craziness breaks loose. Now, obviously, we'll have to come back to that building. But I don't want to give it any more time than I already have, because I'm, I'm sure we'll be back another time. So what we really need to do is to head up to the hospital. Ah, and there's another tome in the ruins. Ah. Pardon me. Let's activate another fast travel location. I think if we just go up Landing Avenue, it'll take us to the book, and then we can swing in the hospital and continue on with the next chapter. Did I, I? I didn't. I didn't go to the right direction. Oh, I got totally turned around. They weren't kidding when they said supplies were scarce. They meant every word of it. Scarce enough for people to fight oh, over little scraps of food. Oh, come on. There's got to be something back here. I'll say reward me for coming back in this alley, please. Come on. Ooh. People that do talk to you, they don't want anything to do with you. Yeah, we'll just continue up this street all the way till we find the abandoned radio tower. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, the smell here. Oh, man. Mm. It's nauseating, to say the least. I'd say that lacks a good bit of description. There's the radio tower. Hmm. Burning vehicles just left in the street. Are you, extra, extra. are you selling this? News that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? Yeah, give me... Uh, no, of course you're not going to give me one. I would read it, though. Let's get another fast travel location unlocked here. There you go. We might have to brush up on the lore for this book, maybe. New infested area. Let's see how this one lines up with the letters from Oakmont. St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport Street. Well, this is interesting. This one doesn't line up with anything except the tome. Tome in the Ruins. Let's go ahead and read that one, shall we? Local women were talking about a ruined house in Central Coverside near the radio tower on the crossing of Landing Avenue and Kingsport Street. House Ruins on the corner here. Oh, I can see. It's fairly obvious which one we're talking about. Oh. No, please, no. 
Just get out of here. I don't want any trouble. Ah. Okay. All right. All right now. <clears throat> All right now. Reload, reload. Okay, hold, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. Mm. Let's go ahead and I think we should do some first aid. make another one right but what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna try to use some of these traps oh what's happening I hear it oh oh it's beneath me okay okay hold on Trying to suss all this out here. Okay, I don't need the first aid kit, really. Okay, so I can climb that to get back up. But that's not going to take me over in this direction. Okay. And that's okay. We just need to use these traps more. That's all. Alright, let's... Can't carry any more rifle ammunition. Oh, what do I gotta do to get a rifle? No, this isn't where we want to be. There we go. We got a little bit of stuff. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Oh. No, 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 no. All right, let's go ahead and take some laudanum as well, maybe. Woo! So it got it with the traps, right? Oh, we need a rifle is what we need. Okay, so it got a little hairy. I'm still I'm still figuring it out. The traps helped. Let's go ahead and make another one of those. And we'll pick one up on our way out. There's also another first aid to pick up on our way out. Oh, that noise. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, so they are rewarding us for coming here. Okay. Well, I guess I could have pushed my way in here. I'm still trying to... So after we came through this door here... Normally, once we've used the mind's eye to peer through the illusion, the book reveals itself, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. Yeah. 
Maybe we need to go back in this side. And we'll get that first aid kit. Now their floor, the floor doesn't go up past that point. But there is something over there. Ugh, that's not, let's see if we can do this. How can we get over to that? Aha, I see it, okay. So let's go over here. We'll go down this side. And then back up to here, right? So then we need to take... I see this path around to the window. Uh, are you not going to let me out of that window? Ah, it's here. Oh, oh. Let's let's get that sanity back real fast. Oh my goodness. All right, let's make some more antipsychotics. Casilda's song. Along the shore, the cloud waves break. The twin suns sink beneath the lake. The shadows lengthen in Carcosa. Strange is the night where black stars rise, and strange moons circle through the skies, but stranger still is lost Carcosa. Songs that the Hyades shall sing, where flap the tatters of the king, must die unheard in dim Carcosa. Song of my soul, my voice is dead. Die thou unsung, as tears unshed shall dry and die in lost Carcosa. Um, let's see what else we can get from here. Ooh, that's quite a bit. Doesn't look like there's really any reason to go up that way. I think we got the most important bit of salvage at the end here, which let's go ahead and let's make at least one mag or one full round of each, and then we'll make some more antipsychotics. Okay. We need better damage with that pistol or something, or we just need to avoid more fights. I guess we're doing okay, although now we're pretty good and hurt. Let's let's just get out of there. That place is wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's that symbol again. Am I missing something? Hold on. There's not really any way to interact with it. There's plenty of craziness there, but... Is there nothing to do with this? Is this just the indicator to kind of tell us this is the building? I guess so, huh? I don't really want to go in this infested area. I'm thinking we're going to depart. Okay, thank you. Now, at this point, we can afford to get rid of this map. And I think we'll just, we'll head down to the hospital of St. Mary's now. No fate, the motion picture, they'll be back. 
That's that's clever. I like that. Hmm. I just want to get out of that building with that that terrifying music. all this stuff here in the park. Oh, hey, you look like you're faring rather well here. Um, okay. Doctors just peddling their wares on the street. What the heck? Oh, and you're going to buy some of it? Uh, okay. Did you just come out of the hospital? Oh man, this isn't even the asylum. Patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant get a visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? Ugh, every day. The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Did you know that all of us are infected by helminth? Your, your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. Well, that's news to me, Doc. Ugh. You sound serious. Hmm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? Hmm. Hard pass? I, I, I'm, I'm not... I... No, hard, hard no. I think I'll pass, Doc. I played lab rat in an asylum in Boston. Can't say it did a damn thing for me. No, oh, what a pity. It seems as though your brain is already too damaged by the Helminth for rational thought. Any patients come in with an axe wound? I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Anyone with a shoulder wound? Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wilds. Is that going to be a problem? Um, no, I'm not afraid. I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. Multi-handed creatures? Found out about the multi-handed beasts. One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Okay, what about the vomiting humanoids? Yeah, those hideous wretches seem almost human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. I suppose. Why? Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> so I suppose I missed my chance to be part of the experimental stuff, but I just, I don't, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, what do we got? Uh, Central Salvation Harbor on Windhelm Street, south of Polaris Road. Okay. No, 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 uh, edit. Northern Salvation Harbor, Moreland Road, between Higgs Lane and Benevolent Tides Road. Hmm, that's all flooded. Uh, okay. 
Fair enough. Now, where are we with... Ooh, some supplies. I don't mind if I do, Doc. Okay, so we've got some medical archives we can dig through, and we'll do that in just a second. Or one reception. Basement, surgery, and storage. Let's go down to the basement and get some storage. Ooh. Boy, they really pack in the creepy atmosphere, don't they? Clear water. You almost say, I almost think that protests a little too much. Some gunpowder stashed in a coffin. Boy, these are tough times. All right, I'll bite. Let's look at the archives. Um, no, 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 I'm not looking for those. Uh, we're at the Lost at Sea. Ooh, sorry, Doc. I get a little worked up when I'm digging through medical records. Um, so it would have been after the flood. Patients and... Surgery. Peter Crowley, M. Male, 29, Oakmonter. Multiple burns and fragmentation wounds to chest and face as a result of explosions. Several surgeries. Wound treatment, facial surgery, prognosis good, bed rest recommended. Joseph Willow, male, 39, newcomer, deep cut wound to left shoulder, broken collarbone, fractured scapula, wound stitched, fracture set and bandage, no trace of infection evidence, prognosis good, bed rest recommended. Joseph Willow. Haven Bay. Okay, let's see if I can talk to you now. Be safe. No. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> okay, well then let's go see if we can find them. What happened to you? What happened to you, mister? <laughs> Pete. Explosion. Fishing with dynamite. Oh, it hurts talking. Not in the port fight? Fishing with dynamite, huh? You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship? I'm sure. Oh, please, leave. Okay, fair enough. Bye. Goodbye. Oh. My stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. Ugh. You ate leeches? Oh my gosh. Everything is just so Oh, jacked up here. Okay. Let's let's just rifle through some of these medical supplies. The doc won't mind. Uh did Pete get added to my Okay, all right. Well, let's see who else we have here. Uh-huh. Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Uh, some psycho in a bar brawl. Gun came out, he clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Mm-hmm. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. You, you should probably look somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, why did you lie? That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Ah, I'm asking the questions. First, tell me who you are. 
Um, I'm investigating the expedition. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. Exactly. Name so drop. Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. What was the expedition looking for? What were you looking for underwater? Uh, the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really. We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. What happened? I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. If they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. What happened during the final dive? Tell me what happened on the last dive? He had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. Albert survived, you know. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. Why did you abandon the divers? You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, You weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters. Mark my words. Okay. I'm, I, I don't know why I'm asking this. I know why you were drinking, right? I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. What happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Where was your last dive? Did you take me out to where the last dive took place? No. No. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Okay. Uh, where can I get a diving suit? You know where I can get a good diving suit. My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. All right, I want the ship's log, too. Where's the log book from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Fair enough. Get better soon. Yeah, get better real soon. I'll be back. Catch me. Please, please, just here. This itching is driving me insane. Um, this doctor looks busy. I'll leave you to it right after I ransack your stuff. Thank you. And what have we over here? Another bathroom kind of drops down on top of some goofiness there. Some shenanigans, and then that's that. Okay. Well, now that we have more steps to follow, 
and things to piece together. Crazy crew and the wounded sailor. The Titania crew went mad and started the massacre in the port as a result. Mm. Fair enough. So we have to go to the diving suit factory. And see if we can find his personal effects. Maybe we'll have the ship's log. That's where we're going to wrap up episode 5. A great place to kick off for the next one. And hopefully we'll put some more of these pieces together and keep our sanity intact. Oof. Well, sample your own supply, Doctor. Until next time, take care.